congratulations. I think that's how you really wanted to win. 60 kilometers solo, cobbles, and also str strong teamwork today. Yeah, I think especially the team, uh, they really surprised me today. I knew they were, they were going to be strong, but yeah, how they rode today is, uh, is incredible. What do you think about those 60 kilometers, Matthew? That's a long time, and also us watching the television thinking, what is he thinking about? Uh, not, not much, actually. Uh, I was really focused uh, to not have a puncture, and um, yeah, I was quite some tailwind to the finish line as well, which made it easier and faster to get here, of course. But uh, I really I had amazing legs today, and I just wanted to make the race hard. But um, yeah, I sur surprised myself also a bit to be alone already after this section. But yeah, I'm, uh, it's a dream come true. Just a couple of things. On that dream with the rainbow jersey, I guess that means a lot today. And then also, will you broaden your Palmars and try to win another monument? I know you got Liège on your schedule. Is that possible? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just on the rainbow, winning in that, and then, and then you know, building out those Palmars, Matthew. No, yeah, I just, I really was, uh, I was really motivated for this season with the jersey to show myself uh, again, and um, yeah, it's going beyond imagination, but. I think uh, yeah, today was maybe my best race so far from the season, so I'm still motivated for, for Amstel and Liège, but we'll see. I mean, it's like I said, uh, I, I don't think we have anything to prove anymore with the team, and um, that makes it a bit easier to race relaxed. So it's a strong yes for Liège that you can win it? <laughs> not a yes, it's a, it's a completely different race against different riders. It's not my, uh, my speciality, but I'm going to give it a try.